Students in East Lansing are heading back to the classrooms for the first time in nearly a year. Early Tuesday morning, the East Lansing Public School Board passed a plan to give students the option of returning to in-person classes. Similar to the other districts in the area, the East Lansing School Board is giving families the option of in-person or remote learning. Just really being able to offer families a choice um, to make the decision that is best for their family. East Lansing Board of Education President Tara Chambers says she understands remote learning hasn't been easy. We're very aware that this remote option just really it isn't working well for a lot of our students, a lot of families. But up until this point, the remote option was really the safest option. Which is why the board passed this plan. This plan that we're presenting and that we're recommending tonight is really based on the premise of offering families choice. On February 22nd, students in pre-K through fifth grade will have the option to begin in-person instruction. Grades 6 through 12th will begin March 1st. It's our responsibility to offer in-person instruction to our families who would like to choose that. Families who don't feel comfortable yet will have another option to return in person after spring break. There are so many of our students who really need to be back in person for a lot of different reasons. So it's not just, you know, they miss their friends, but there are significant mental health and other um challenges that they're facing that really make in-person learning the best option for them. Other districts in the area are also putting plans into place. In Williamston, some in-person instruction is already going on, but they plan to bring in more students. Hazlitt will begin in-person teaching with small groups February 1st. Online classes will still be offered. After sending out a survey to families and staff, the Lansing School District will discuss their plan during their next board meeting. Ms. Powers? Yes. There are certainly parents who are excited about the option to send their children back in person and other parents who are not yet comfortable. Chambers says being a mom herself, she understands the difficult decision parents are facing. I have a fourth grader and it is so easy to be overwhelmed by all the information that's coming at us. But is happy they now have the option to choose. I am just really thrilled that we can provide families that choice so that they can make the best decision for them. The vote is six yes, one no. Uh, the motion passes. Reporting in East Lansing, Michaela Temple, Fox 47 News.